Hello, my name is Jasmine Gongora and I am a second year physical therapy student at UT Health San Antonio. I will be starting my clinical rotations in May and I'm so excited. Um, and I thought this would be a good way to document my ACL journey in a video diary form. The interesting part of this journey is that I tore my ACL when I was a freshman in high school at the age of 14 and it was a contact injury. I remember being a defender and block, trying to block the girl out and her knee need my knee. So this was my first exposure to physical therapy and I loved it so much that I knew I wanted to become a physical therapist. So fast forward 10 years. At the age of 24, I have now torn my ACL, but in my other leg, playing intramural soccer um, through my school, but this time it was non-contact. I tripped on an uneven surface on the ground at, in the field, and I felt my ankle twisting, and then my knee caved in, and I fell to the ground. It was a terrible feeling, but it did not feel like my ACL, I, I ACL tear in high school and when I first tore my ACL at my high school soccer game I was in so much pain that I was literally like clawing my face and I had to be carried off the field but this time around it was painful and very uncomfortable but it felt like my femur like this is my femur and this is my tibia felt like it did like this motion and it just like went back into place and I slowly got up and limped off the field. I waited two months to get surgery because I was certain that it was either an MCL sprain or a meniscus tear and that it would just heal on its own. I even had multiple physical therapists from my faculty to physical therapists that I shadowed in the clinic for a school assignment, check out my knee, and no one could find a tear from the special tests they did or like any ligament laxity. So I ended up getting an MRI because my knee would occasionally give out on me or buckle on me and it showed that I completely tore my ACL. I had a grade one MCL sprain and a contusion or a bone bruise at the medial femoral condyle and the medial tibia from this motion that occurred. So I got a bruise right here. So that is my ACL journey. I've been on this journey before, but this time I wanted to document it now that I'm in PT school and I can learn from it when I'm treating patients in the orthopedic setting in my rotations. And lastly, my friend in med school sent me a post about the correlation of women who tear their ACLs being on their period at the time of the tear. So I thought this was really interesting. So let me know in the comments if you've torn your ACL while on your period. Uh, I was at the end of my period when I tore my ACL recently, so I don't know if it truly counts. Like. There was no flow of blood really, just discharge. Sorry if that's TMI, but it's life. And I can't remember at all if I was on my period when I tore it in 2011, but I did ask my friend who tore hers in high school, just like me, and she says she thinks that she was on her period. So let me know in the comments. And that is my ACL journey, ladies and gentlemen.